Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Now, I've been noticing that there's a trend on YouTube that there's a lot of YouTubers out there showing you how to double, triple, um, 3x, 4x, 100x your money in just one week. And those are very, very risky plays, guys. Now, do I take those risky plays? Yes, I do. But it's only with about maybe less than 3% of my full portfolio. Now, the other 97% of my portfolio, I use to make smart investments. And most of these smart investments have helped me grow some of my accounts over 100 thousand dollars that's because i look at the market and i take calculated risk look at calculated trends in which give me calculated returns so if you're wondering what i mean by what's a smart play like microsoft they're doing a 60 billion dollar buyback of their shares if there's less shares out there that means the value of the shares that you do own is going to go up over time usually now should it go up Nine times out of 10, it say that it should. Now that's the calculated risk. Nine times out of 10 says that this price is gonna go up. If there's less shares out there, that's a risk that I'm willing to take. And what's better than investing into companies that run like a monopoly? Now I know everyone out there have played the board game Monopoly. The object of Monopoly is to own everything on the board to where you set the prices for everything. Now I'm gonna show you five companies that run just like monopolies. That means they have over 40, 50% of the market share and they pretty much are run like a monopoly to even to the point to where some of these companies get sued for being ran like a monopoly. Now those are companies that I would love to invest into. Those are the smart plays that we're looking for. Yes, they might not 100X over the next week, but these are calculated risk, calculated returns into companies that are ran like monopolies that have market share over the whole industry. And I'm gonna give you guys five different companies that are ran like monopolies that you can invest into today that is not as risky as some of them 2x, 3x, 100x companies that a lot of these YouTubers are out there talking about right now. But before we dive into this video, this video is brought to you by Webull. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit any amount of money that you want and you will receive two free shares valued up to $2,300. With those two free shares, you could keep them inside of the platform and decide to use it, or you could sell those two free shares and withdraw all of your money. It's literally free money. Also, I left a link to Moomoo Moo down in the description. You signed up for that, deposit any amount as well, and you can receive up to four free stocks depending on how much that you deposit. Don't miss out on this free money, guys. This is a very easy opportunity to start your account or grow your account very fast. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are on my Robin account. I'm sitting around $88,585.52. Over the last month alone, I'm up $11,707.74, up 15.23%. Now, if you want access to every single time I buy and sell stocks and get access to some of our option plays, I'm gonna leave a link down to Patreon down in the description. Join the Patreon and you'll get access to the Discord. And right now, for just $1 a day, just $1 a day, you'll gain access to the highest tier in the Patreon that I just started is for a cryptocurrency bot. Last month, we made around a 36% gain in just a single month. Over there, we have a couple of bots running where we start and stop them and we're taking profits where we can. So if you want access to every time I buy and sell stocks or for just $1 a day, have access to the cryptocurrency where we've been growing our portfolio over the last month or so, uh, click that link down in the comment section. But now that we're back to Robin Hood, let's take a look at the first company that is made like a monopoly. I'm pretty sure all you guys know exactly what it is. It is Apple. Okay, so here we are on Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. Apple is up to $148.25, and I'm up around 12% on Apple. We have been dollar cost averaging in over on the Patreon. Now, when it comes to smartphones, now we're just talking about smartphones. There's either two phones out there. You either have an Apple phone or an Android. So Apple automatically off the top, you're thinking they own 50% of the market share, but Android is not a phone company. They're just the software. So you're looking at Samsung, LG, the other 50% of the market is ran by other companies. Apple has the majority of the shares when it comes to smartphones. In fact, when we look at the uh, US market share by quarter, um, over the last quarter market, over the last quarter, Apple had 53% of the share, Samsung had 26% of the share, 
and LG had around 3% of the share when it comes to smartphone. In fact, Apple App Store was just sued by Epic Games because the App Store was ran like a monopoly to where they was not able to sell other companies' um, apps inside of, the, inside of their own phone that now they're getting sued by Epic Games, aka Fortnite. So they're still going through a lawsuit with that. Companies that get sued for being ran like a monopoly is, or I'm bad. I'm, it's going to suck to say this are companies that I want to invest into because they do hold a the higher percent of the market share. That means they have a big control of the company and then they're able to set their own prices on their own products, no matter what they want to do, because they are majority of the market share so when i do own stocks of companies like that i like to get in because let's take one more look at apple because apple over the last five years is up 439 percent and they just had a stock split maybe a year ago and i can see them having a stock split over the in the next five years or so so i'm going to continue to dollar cost in on apple until we get around 100 shares the next big company that is ran like a monopoly is altria ticket symbol mo they have a market share of around 60 percent um altria they 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 produce and sell cigarettes they are now starting to get into the cannabis company um making vapes and pre-rolls and everything like that but when it comes to any cigarette that you could buy at any gas station any store with no advertisement at all, I think it's illegal for them to even make TV advertisements. Um, maybe they could advertise in magazines, even though I haven't seen them in magazines either. But with a company that has 60% of the market share that produces a, a product and by definition and scientifically proven to be addictive, to keep customers coming back to buy that product over and over and over again, that is a company that you guys can invest into. And I'm gonna show you something right quick. I do not invest into Altria. I do not invest into MO because I've, I've personally lost too many members to um, lung cancer or cancer from smoking cigarettes. So even though they ran like a monopoly that own 60% of the market share and they produced a product that is addictive, I personally cannot invest into them. Even though they're on a pullback right now, they're probably gonna slingshot for it back in the future when they start to really hand, uh, as soon as they start to cross over in the cannabis um, industry. But if this is something that you guys would wanna pick up, Altria might be a good choice for you. In fact, they do have a pretty sweet dividend yield of 7.78%. But let's move over to um, Monopoly number three. Moving over to Monopoly number three, have you ever noticed that when you take out your trash, well, I. I I live in Texas. This is a little different than other places. But when we take out our trash, it's only one company that comes by and pick up everybody's trash on the street. Um, there's not individual companies. There's companies that just got this entire city or this entire neighborhood. And nine times out of 10, if you own a business, this company picks up and recycles your trash. That company is Waste Management. One but one of Warren Buffett's favorite company and one of my favorite companies over the last year, they're up 30%. I own four shares. I'm up 37% on Waste Management as well. And they do have a dividend yield of 1.4%. So when it comes to waste management, I think it's waste management and then uh, Republic Services or something like that. But waste management owns over 54% of the trash management. So trash is not going anywhere, guys. Recycling is not going anywhere. There's always going to be trash. We're humans. We're one of the most disgusting creatures on this planet that <laughs> just, just create trash from nothing. So trash is not going anywhere, guys. And the company that owns the most is waste management with 54%. Um, right here it says that waste management owns and operates several hundred recycling centers, landfills, and transfer centers in North America. This enormous scale combined with the monopoly-like characteristics of the business has turned the waste management into a fantastic long term investment remember we're not trying to three four 100x our money in just a week this is a long-term investment that we that that has shown statistically to gain money over the last decade or so so we're going to continue to dollar cost in on waste management um they are ran like a monopoly they're the biggest uh trash service company there is in america so i'm going to continue to invest my money into this into this monopoly like company the next one is Anheuser-Busch. Um, Budweiser, you guys should know what, what that is if you drink beer, ticker symbol BUD. Anheuser-Busch has a market share of around 46%. It has a long-term top dog status in the United States thanks to its ownership of a number, a number of best-selling beer brands such as Budweiser, Michelle Ultra, Bex, Stella, 
Bass, and a whole bunch more. However, the company market uh, market dominance was brought to a whole new level last year after it spent over one hundred billion dollars to swallow um, Sab Miller. Now, Sab Miller was the second was the industry's second largest player. So, just imagine the the biggest company bought the second biggest company for a hundred billion dollars. So now Anheuser Busch is an even bigger monopoly. I do not know how they are not getting sued yet, but I could tell you right now that uh, I'm a user of their products and they ran like a monopoly and I'm a user of their products. So this is another monopoly ran like company that I'm going to invest into that uh, they have 46% share of the profits when it comes to beer beverages, but but it's probably gonna increase even more now that they bought the second largest of their competition. So let's go ahead and move to the biggest monopoly of them all, Google. Now, all you guys know what Google is. Google is the biggest search engine in the world. In fact, Google market share is 79% in Yahoo. Just imagine what Yahoo's is compared to Google. Yahoo is 5% guys. Now the second largest behind Google is of course YouTube, but Google owns YouTube. So Google is a monopoly. I'm going to continue. I can't buy full shares of Google guys. Google is a whole bunch of money, but I'm going to continue to dollar cost in on Google. They are a 80% share of the search engine um, market. Google spies on me because I swear when I'm thinking about something to buy for the holidays, it just automatically pops up in my phone and they already know what I want to search before I even type it in on the search engine. So it's spooky scary. If they're going to be spying on me like this, I might as well go ahead and invest in them and make some money off of them spying on me. But yes, Google is by far the biggest monopoly there is in the world. In fact, they have been sued right now. They've been sued for $2.7 billion, but that's nothing when they're making $92 billion in cash every single year. Yes, that's Google one of the powerhouse companies on this planet and they are being ran like a monopoly started so that is our top five monopoly like companies that you should be invested into today in order to be rich by the time you retire and there we go guys we got anheuser bush race management apple google and altria that is ran like monopolies guys so pull out that board game if you forgot what the monopoly is go ahead and look it up i was the best at monopoly but if you made it to the end of this video go down in the comment section let me know which one of those five have you already invested into or plan on investing into into the future or drop a comment down below of another monopoly like company that you personally own or that you've been thinking about getting down in the comment section if you made it to the end of this video go ahead hit that thumbs up that really helps out this channel more than you can even imagine once again if you want to know every time i buy and sell stocks or want to join the cryptocurrency trading group for just a dollar a day i'm gonna leave that link down in the comment section it's going to be pinned at the top click the patreon sign up and join the discord but other than that guys i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace